hundreds of you have asked if I can paint a fully and now it's the time to do it. In this video it's all about mountains, Rocky Mountains, European Mountains. A Swiss rider came to me and asked if I can paint the Swiss Alps on his altitude. So let's do it and let's paint mountains on the Rocky Mountain. And at first I have to disassemble the frame. So let's do that. Yeah, back from the media blasting. Now I have a raw carbon frame. That was the nasty part of the paint job. Now it's time for the fun part. But before I can spray color, I have to mask, like every time, with masking tape. A lot more masking tape, a knife. And when I've done that, it's time for the paint boost, applying primer. And then it's time for airbrushing and graphics. We are not done with the shit. Next thing we need is 800 grit and a wet sanding bucket named Sandra. Yeah, that's the next step as every time wet sanding 
with wet sanding paper to smooth the surface and the primer for an excellent finish. I will rub the parts until they're flat and smooth and I will come back to you when it's time for the really interesting part, the graphics. Yeah, the wet sanding is over and now it's time to start the real party. So let's use my computer, let's cut some mountains with the sign maker, let's stick them on and then it's time to paint the night sky. Fray guns loaded and now it's time for the cool things, color on the frame. I will start with the sky blue to imitate the sky around the mountains and the clouds. Then I will add some ultraviolet in my spray gun and I will spray the night sky on the top tube. These are only base colors. The stars and the clouds are made with airbrush, but at first let's add some color to the frame. What I have to do next is the coolest thing in the complete project. Just turn off the brain and spray. In. I have to airbrush the clouds and the stars doodling around and that's what I like most. So let's go.
The clouds and the night sky is on and it's looking pretty good. And now let's add some crystal to the frame. And I don't mean meth, what I mean are really cool crystals. Space blue and yeah, I will add also some effect color. It's called Space Vision. And I will also add a drop of silver violet. And that creates an effect which is nearly a chameleon. And I have to start with some drops of the thinner. I will add a lot of these crystals. Some drops of the space vision. And also some drops of the silver violet. Yeah. And some transparent clear coat. And that's it. So come a bit closer and I'll show you how it sparkles. Yeah, check this. Can you see the flags? So let's spray them on the frame. Let's use a big 0.5 nozzle. That's okay for these big flakes. If you use a small nozzle, they won't pass the nozzle and will stay in the airbrush. So let's go. Yeah, we have clouds, we have sparkles, but what we don't have is stars. And that's also very easy. We need again the big airbrush, 0.5 needle nozzle combination. I loaded some white and now I can spray stars. Come closer and I'll show you how. Yeah, it's time to bring the dad joke alive and let's pray mountains on the Rocky Mountain. I prepared something. These are the stencils for the mountains. It took me hours to create them. I've chosen also some grayish tones, some browns for the colors of the mountains. Now I have to pick my airbrushes, I have to load the guns. And then it's time to puzzle, sticking on the stencils on the frame and spraying the mountains on the Rocky Mountain. Yeah, and what I'm doing is really a huge puzzle. I have a stencil for every color layer, for every layer of the mountains to create a 3D effect. And before I start spraying a frame like this, I do every time a sketch, a design in a cut software. I use Adobe Illustrator and check these files. That's the file for the mountains and the graphics of the frame. And here you can see all the different layers and different colors with the mountains and the shadows on the mountains. And I created a separate stencil. I cover this stencil and now I have to stick them on. I have to spray the shadows by hand. That takes some hours and you need a lot of patience to do that. And when I'm done, I have a digital effect, like a digital painting, but done by hand on this Rocky Mountain.
The mountain puzzle is solved and up next we can go ahead with some shades of green, dark green, light green. We can spray some grassy hills, also some woods. And it's the same like the mountains. I use my graphics, cut the stencils, stick them on the frame and spray. And I will start with the dark green and some pieces of forest. Yeah, the main parts of the landscape are done and what I have to do now are all the little tiny bits, the rocks around the mountain river, some pine trees, some more pine trees and when I've done that I have to add also the lettering and the frame's done. But we have to seal all the graphics with a clear coat. That's a huge step but before I can do the clear coat and the finish let's do all the tiny bits and let's finish the landscape. The frame is looking good but there's one thing missing, the lettering and the logos and that's what I have to do before I can do the clear coat and the finish. So let's pick them from the graphic software, the Adobe Illustrator, let's cut some stencils and let's spray them on the frame. At first I have to pick all the logos I like to spray on the frame. I have to create a new cut file.
I have to do some arrangements for the sign maker and then I can cut these stencils for the graphics on the frame. last thing in this game is like every time the clear coat and what I have in my spray gun is a high solid clear coat, two components, hardener and clear coat and yeah, the frame has to cure for 20 minutes and the paint job is done. Don't miss the turntable footage and see you in one of my next videos. Goodbye.